Hello, my name is Jeff Thompson and welcome to an introduction to the Test Maturity Model Integrated, known as TMMI. TMMI is a model that enables organisations to understand their test process maturity and identify opportunities to improve test and quality processes across the software development life cycle. But why do we want to improve the test process? Well, software fails and as can be seen sometimes in disastrous ways and as a test profession we need to be as efficient as possible in stopping these disasters from happening. However, there are a lot of models out there for those who want to improve and the development of these models has been a mixture of formal research, for example TMMM, commercial, for example TPI, person opinion, STEP. They can be the stage to enable easy identification of required improvements, for example TMMI, provide generic improvement plans that can be tailored, for example CTP, or simply be a model to enable identification of current maturity only, for example TOM. TMMI has taken input from all of these models and is developed and owned by the TMMI Foundation, which uses a truly international team of contributors and agreed industry standards to ensure it is the most up-to-date, researched and truly independent model in existence today. So it is well researched and has international support, but why else do organisations use TMMI? Well, it enables the assessment of all test and quality focused activities across both systems and software engineering processes. It enables the assessment of process at all levels of testing, so from initial design reviews right through to user acceptance test and production implementation. It is focused on enabling organisations to move from late defect detention activities to early defect prevention activities. As we all know, it's much less costly to find or stop an error early in the life cycle rather than after code has been written. After improvements have been implemented, significant savings have been achieved. For example, Marks and Spencers have reported up to 30% saving in development costs and more predictability of quality after implementing TMMI recommended improvements. We are also aware that over 100 individual organisations are using TMMI to accredit and assess their process maturity. Some formerly using TMMI Foundation accredited assessment organisations like Experimentus, others simply downloading the TMMI model and having a look at what they are doing. So what does the model look like? It is a five stage model with the levels aligned to complement CMMI's deficiency in test process components. Level 1 is the initial level and is the level that everyone gets for free, the starter level. An organisation at level 1 has a chaotic and undefined process, often seen as part of the development process. It is what I have called the 48-hour te tester mentality, which is where the tester seems to test for all hours of the day. They use their own view of what testing is and when they are not there, testing stops. Level 2 is about project process and is where the fundamental test process is established. It is where there is a managed process clearly separated from development. It includes project or organisational test policy and the management of test environments. Level 3 is looking for organisational implementation of the test process. Testing is no longer a phase which follows development and is fully integrated into the project life cycle with testing starting as early as requirements definition. This level also looks at the training and career needs of the test resources. For level 4, TMI is looking for testing organisation to be well founded and measured with quantitative objectives for product quality. It is also looking for inspection like process to be in place for reviews. At level 5 it is expected that the test process is fully defined and is continually self improving, clearly fulfilling its improvement objectives, as well as now focusing on defect prevention rather than traditional defect detection activities such as the dependency on test execution only to find defects. The test organisation would also be capable of controlling the cost and effectiveness of testing. Now let's have a look at the different components that make up the technical content of the TMI model. At the highest level there is maturity levels 1 to 5. These indicate the test process capability or of the organisation which is being assessed. Each maturity level is made up of process areas listed in the box on the previous slide. These reflect the goals or targets that need to be achieved. 
Each process area is made up of specific and generic practices which are the detail underneath the process area that make up the process area. For example, to achieve the process area test planning, there needs to be a specific practice in place to capture and track the risks required to inform the test planning process. The specific and generic practices make up the process implementation and it is from here that the process improvement recommendations are derived. Thank you for viewing this Experimenters webinar, which is number one in a series explaining TMMI and the various assessment options available. Should you require any further information on TMMI and how experimenters use it, please contact us via the contact information currently on your screen.